hello viewers welcome back to my channel this tutorial is for beginner who are new in microsoft power bi today we learn how to clean the data and prepare data for the analysis this is the part one video uh, at the end of this video we may able to do how to remove column how to remove blank rows make the rows as a header change data type and remove errors replace the value and create column in microsoft power bi using power query this is the uh, this is our csv file we have to clean the data before do any analysis so let's start open microsoft power bi then click on get data as this one is csv file so i'm selecting the csv file now click on open then click on transform data as you see there is a lots of error in the data there is a blank rows there is also some missing information in the cell and some useless column so we have to remove this before do any analysis first of all how to remove column you can select the column and click on this option remove so it will remove the column let's back to the initial stage if you want to remove several column then click on control button and select the column like this and then remove column so it will remove that selected column if you want to keep this column and remove all the uh, all other column then select the column that you want to keep using control button and from here remove other column so it will remove all the other column except this one in my case I want to uh, remove this column and this column uh, another thing I want to show you if you have uh, lots of column in the in your data you can easily find this using this option go to the column here I want to highlight this column click on ok it will automatically highlight that column so you don't have to scroll to find the column now select this column and this column and click on remove this is how you can remove the column unnecessary column actually now our second topic is remove blank rows here you will see there is a lots of blank rows in my data you can easily remove these blank rows i am selecting the column that contain the blank rows and then click on this option remove blank rows all my blank rows are now removed and uh, make row as header suppose i do not need this row so you can select this row and here type column one uncheck this click on ok so column one will be filtered out now i want to use the first row as header use this option clicking on this uh, it will automatically turn the first row as header after that change the data type and remove any errors here population 2020 it is in text file but i want this as a whole number replace the current it will uh, convert the text file into whole number 
uh, in most case power bi query automatically do this uh, this one is okay as the country is the text file but sometimes you have to do it manually the growth rate i want it as percentage world percentage rank it's in number so data type is okay here uh, we see there is a error in my data this one this one i want to remove this error from my data you can easily do so select my the column that contain error then click on this option remove error it will remove all the error in the cell i want to remove this error too so remove error okay now there is no error in my data I'll replace the value here the area it said something kilometer square i want the area in number but here it's in the data type is in text so first let's split this uh, column before uh, split this column let's replace the value kilometer here you will find this option in under uh, transform tab you have to select the column first then replace the value here i want to replace the kilometer with this character now click on ok now i want to split this column split by delimiter here is a uh, lots of option you can uh, use it uh, in your different purpose in in my case i will use first option by delimiter automatically set the option and if i click on ok now there is a two column here is only the number i do not need this column so remove this column this is the area let's rename this column area in kilometer square okay now create column let's create density column for this click on this add column custom column give the column name in my case i will calculate density so i am naming this column as density here you have to write the formula total population divided by area this is the formula for calculating density now click on ok now you can see a new column is added containing the density value i think all my data are ok now i can able to do the analysis with the data i think there is no uh, unnecessary information here if you are okay with your data you can go to home then close and apply it will take some time now click on this data section you will find all your clean data here they are ready for analysis uh, another thing in my density column i want to keep two digit here so click on this first you have to change the density data type into decimal number as i want to keep only two digit here so i am typing two here now you can see there is only two digit here I think my data are now ready for the analysis let's create a dashboard with our data click on my map okay population location country wise location 
and the bubble size it will be by population so India the total number of population is shown here and I want to add more information in the tool tips suppose density per square kilometer now it will also show the density information let's import slicer here and for slicer i will use this rank rank 1 to 30 only this country are rank between 1 to 20 that's all i think you like this tutorial thanks for watching